Okay, let's jump back in. Operator, I am pleased that you are becoming more comfortable navigating the Fog Owl and our training simulations. I recommend that before proceeding any further, you clear at least the final barrier of the basic training exercise. Doing so will unlock more training missions in the mission computer. Oh, Cedric, you minx. How could I refuse? Okay, let's see what's over here. Area's not ready for exploration. I should return another time, though. Those paths blocked by cones will open up in the future. Notice that you can interact with some objects using the spacebar to examine them more closely. Reading signs like this one can sometimes be handy. What's up here? Ooh, a chest Laser sword. Sometimes there are rewards hiding in non-obvious corners of virtual environments. Case in point, this chest. But being the sly explorer you are, you took the detour and found it. Click the hack button to receive a reward for your extra steps. Read the help section for more information on how ranks and progress work in Twilio Quest. And track your progress. Tier ratings. Overall rank. You updated frequently, the overall amount of XP in the game increases, your rank will dip down. Check back often to keep your rank high. Objective clear, laser sword. Yeah. What do you do? You heft this laser sword effortlessly, wondering how the Tweety Quest program came up with the idea for a saber of pure light. Hmm. Where could such an idea have originated? Down here. Video Quest supports reforestation in Australia. Well, that's dope. That's where I live. Click hack and Twilio will donate a dollar to plant a tree. All you need to do to plant one more is click hack. Going down here. Oh, looky, another chest. Refresh your memory on past lessons by visiting them again. We need to do just that to complete this objective. Go back to the very first barrier in this mission, launch the hack interface using the spacebar, and navigate to the help section just underneath that barrier's passphrase. Ah, uh, so I did copy paste that, but I've since put other things in my clipboard. So, let's go back. Okay, here we go. Yoga pants, what do you do? Flexible and form fitting. I've got blue jeans. I've got operator greaves. Let's see what these look like. Eh. Yeah, that seems better. Dunskis. Okay, let's look over here. The next two barriers will require a Twilio account to complete. A Twilio account is required for code challenges that utilize Twilio APIs and products. Okay, so I would deal with that another time. Well, can't get through there. All I can do is this. Ooh, I can earn a sweet helmet. 
Twilio Quest, you'll be writing code in a variety of programming languages. You'll learn to install and use the tools software development professionals use every day. Code can do powerful things, which is why we're excited to share it with you. However, you should be aware that code can also do harmful things to your computer if you're not careful. You might execute code that does something to your computer you don't intend, like delete files or change configuration settings. It's even possible that unscrupulous individuals on the internet may attempt to trick you into running code that can harm your computer or steal your personal data. When running code on your computer, it's important to remember the following. There's no undo button when you run code. Make sure you know what your code is going to do before you run it. Only use code from sources you trust or code that you fully understand. If you're confused or concerned about what your code will do, ask a teacher or mentor for help. Answer the questions on the right to ensure you understand these facts, then click the hack button. Once you do, your adventure can begin in earnest. So, basic online safety, guys. False. Copying and pasting code from the internet can be dangerous. If you don't understand what a piece of code does, you should ask someone first. True. Hack. Excellent work. You have completed our basic training exercise. Walk ahead to the exit area. Okay. Let's see what my helmet does. More basic environmental protection. Dope. And I'm out. Congratulations on successfully completing the basic training exercise. Our faith in your abilities was well founded. If you return to the VR pods, you will see that more training exercises have been unlocked in the mission computer. Complete as many of these challenges as you can to continue your operator training. Sure thing. JavaScript test lab. Twilio Quest scientists are researching duct typium, a recently discovered energy source which is as powerful as it is unstable. Visit the test lab to learn more about the JavaScript programming language and about their research team's experiments. Ooh, let's see what Sexy Robot Operator, has to say. I am pleased you have come to observe our work at the JavaScript test lab. Twilio Quest scientists are making significant progress unlocking the potential of the JavaScript programming language. What can I learn about JavaScript? Navigating the laboratory will require that you become familiar with the JavaScript programming language. In doing so, you will also install the Node.js JavaScript runtime on your computer, enabling you to write and execute JavaScript code. What sort of research is conducted here? Presently, our research team is studying the energy-producing properties of duct IPM, a newly discovered element that we believe is the source of JavaScript's power. Proceed through the security barriers on the right to examine our research data yourself. Navigating the laboratory... Okay. Operator. Is that all it says? It I is. Let's open this chest. Then the origin story of JavaScript, the lingua franca of software development. Well, that's true. That I don't know. Okay. Just gonna have to do some research and come back to this if I want in. Download and install the most recent release of Node.js on your computer. After doing so, your terminal application, PowerShell or Terminal, for example, should have access to a new command, Node. Paste in the full path to where the Node command was installed on your computer. See the Help section if you aren't sure where to find that information. Paste the path into the text field on the right, then click the Hack button. Challenge. Still no. Computer should hit the node. Okay. Well, I got to do some downloading, so we'll wrap this one up here and come back once this is done. Thanks, guys.